became the defensive captain of the game this week. Right. You want to talk about forces? Let Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jordan Thomas, and today we're at Sox Harrison Stadium, where the Edinburgh Fighting Scots will be taking on East Stroudsburg Warriors. This will be their first meeting since 2015. Right now, the weather's looking pretty nice, like clouds, and I know we're in store for a great game today. Right now we have both teams preparing for kickoff. We are joined now with our Edinburgh TV Practicum director, Steve Nash, as long as with this TV Practicum and Edinburgh, Edinburgh TV class to them. Hi Jordan, how are you doing today? Thanks for coming out here. Looks like we got a good game here today. Edinburgh Fighting Scots are looking good. This is actually their first home game this season. They're leading off with a three-game winning streak, so hopefully they can return that and bring home a win for a home game today. Yeah, the crowd's looking pretty good out here so far. Uh, if you look across the field, the stadium's starting to fill up. The marching band's just taking off now. The marching band sounded good this morning, didn't they? For this morning. Yes, and we heard those bagpipes all throughout the day today so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have our visitors in white here, and the Edinburgh Fighting Scots in red. Again, yeah, I'll be helping out Jordan Thomas here for a duration of the show. Probably got another announcer who's What are we 
we seeing out there, Jordan? We got number 82. Attempted, was, but was stopped at the 30. Shirt sophomore from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right, they're in the huddle, breaking the huddle, coming to the line. Up, oh, whistle on the play. There was a five-yard penalty against East Stroudsburg. Now we're at a first down. Actually, no, third down, first and we're on third down, 12 yards to go. Pass for the quarterback, it's going to pass, out of bounds. That pass was intended for number 22, but it was out of bounds, like you said. You, but my uh, my uh, sheets aren't lining up here too well. Let's get this figured out and we'll go here. But, anyways, we've got our huddle. We're on the line of scrimmage. Shotgun formation. Fourth down. That was a punt, my bad. That was a great return. That was done by number two, Tanaz Gregory, junior here at Edinburgh University. About a 30 yard return, looks like. Who was that again on the return? It's Tanaz Gregory, sophomore here. Okay. All right, so it falls on. minutes left on the clock in the first quarter at Sox Harrison Field. Number two, gained for a few yards there. Seven quarterback sneak up the middle. All 
All right, first and 10, ball on the 38. Man in motion. Go for a pass, screen pass, pass not and incomplete to number one. Who's our number one there, Jordan? Our number one would be senior James Clark from Cudsville, PA. He is a wide receiver. Second and 10, ball on the 38. Screen pass. Same play, opposite side. A little bit of a game here. And it's first down, actually, folks. So it's first and 10. Second and ten on the scoreboard, but it's first and ten. Pass complete. Number one. Up, gain for a few yards. Clock still rolling. It's going to be interesting to see what these Fighting Scots will try to do with this first quarter. Screen pass. Oh, it's a little flicker. Oh, that was a sneaky play. And they run it in for a touchdown. And that was by number one wide receiver, James Clark. Cueing the cannon any minute. Trickery right there, Jordan. That was definitely wasn't expecting that, but that was smart. That was a handoff, uh, and then uh, receiver uh, was forward pass there, quarterback. Okay, kicker's out on the field now. Here's the gun with 11 minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. The Fighting Scots score the first touchdown here at Knox Harrison Field with a score of seven points. Looks like the referees are having a little powwow out there. Not too sure what was going on, but uh, here we go. Game's back in action. Getting ready for the kickoff now. Looks like the referee is having a little talk with number 94. The ball is caught by number 27 for East Stroudsburg. Now lining up on the 25. 
Second down here. Just a little bit of yardage on that last gain. A little bit of gain on that last rush. That previous tackle was done by number nine, Brandon Anderson. Quarterback sneak up the middle. Who's number two for East their quarterback is Ben Moser. We have Tanaz Gregory. A little bit of a uh, bounce on that. Flag on the play, too, though. Let's see what's going to be called here. Talking about out there, Jordan. I am not sure. What did he just call? I believe that was a first down. It was on Edinburgh because we're pushing it back. All right. Well, Edinburgh starts. It looks like on the 10-yard line. First and 10. Falls on the nine, actually. 9.59 left on the first quarter. Run up the middle. Up. Broke up a few tackles, but he stuffed up. That run was made by number five, Walter Fetcher. Fletcher, I believe that is, Walter Fletcher. Again, same play, but he's stuffed and taken down right there. Well, third and seven, falls on the 12. What do you suppose the uh, Scots are going to do here, Jordan? I'm not sure. All I know is that they need to do whatever they can to make sure East Strasburg does not get that touchdown. What do you think Tomko's thinking out there? Here we go. Man in motion. Got a pass. Oh, he's going deep. Going deep. Oh, complete, but I think he's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds, but that was a nice run by James Clark. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was a nice run. Tippy toes. All right, well, here comes the punting team. They're out on the field, fourth and 10. Ball on the 10. And that was, ball was caught by number eight for eight, East Strasburg. That was by Levy Becker who caught that ball. Excuse me, Reese Bender. Strasburg ball. Fake handoff, screen up the middle, but incomplete. That was going to number two, East Strasburg. That was going, supposed to be going to Ben Mosser. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not number two. Who was that? Mosser's our quarterback out there. That was number three. Excuse me, number three, Anthony Guarino. Catch, I gotta say that. It and was. It was fast, but he just had a little bit too aggressive on him. Watch that. First and 10, balls on the 24. It's eight minutes and 32 left in the first quarter. Oh, we got a little conversation out here on the field. East Strasburg coach wanting to talk to our referee, but clock's running, ball in play. Pass to 44, dropped. Is it a fumble or was that incomplete? 44, East Strasburg. Forty-four. That pass was supposed to be going to Jamar Anderson. Not sure if that was a fumble or an incomplete pass. off and a run up the middle. Mar Anderson, number 44. 
couple yards there, gain. Third down, five yards for a first down. Seven in motion. Pass up the middle again to 44. Jamar Anderson. It's Anderson's third time. Handling the ball here. Looks like the kick team's coming out though. Fourth down. Is. That is number 17, our kicker out there, right? A little trouble reading animals here. But that kick was good. I'm sorry, that's 97. Excuse me. Jordan Walters, about to say. I was like, so Jordan Walters out there with the kick. Puts three points on the board for East Stroudsburg. So with six minutes and 57 seconds on the clock, East Stroudsburg Warriors are on the board with three. And Fighting Scots, seven. One of my previous jobs working, uh, helping out students was working for uh, a high school up in Erie, Pennsylvania. And every time I'm sitting here, I'm tempted to keep calling out their mascot. <laughs> so it's like I have to retrain my brain here to say Fighting Scots, and I'm almost catching myself every time. Speaking of mascots, I don't see our Fighting Scots out here right now. You see him? He should be out there, right? And what's his name again? What's the Fighting Scots mascot's name? He has a specific name, like Haggis or something like that. Well, we're also here joined with one of our other student announcers, Kira, who will be joining us here in a second. She's going to take over for me here shortly. That was a good kick all the way into the end zone, though, which basically will bring us back to the 20. So the Fighting Scots will take over. First and 10 on the 20-yard line. The sun has definitely come out right now. It's beautiful weather I'm here for this game today. All right, man in motion, number two. Oh, there he goes. And he's Nice run. Nice that run was a way. nice run by Tanaz Gregory. He is definitely someone to watch out for for this team. By number five, Walter Fletcher. Oh, Walter Fletcher. Number five. Short game, but that's not bad. Clock still rolling. Wide open. Nobody on him whatsoever. That was a very nice catch by number five again, Walter Fletcher. Yeah, good catch. Nobody was on him, no coverage. And that's first down. Clock still running, six minutes on the clock. Everyone was 
with number one, number one James Clark. Fletcher, quite the little pair right now. Moving the ball down the field. Two, up the middle. Not bad. Close. Real close there. Were they on the three, four yard line? Yes. No huddle, they're going quick. What do you think, Jordan? They're just gonna run it right up the middle? That seems to be a pattern of them. I mean, they're close enough. They can... Uh -oh. they got a little... They're thinking about it. Andrew Tomko looking at his coach on the line. And we're changing it up here. Van in motion. Gregory. Yep, right up the middle. What do you know? What do we got? Ref calling a touchdown. Let's see. We got a pile up on the yard line. The goal line. Doesn't look like it. Inches. All right, inches to go here. And in motion. Hand off and touchdown. Touchdown made by number five, Walter Fletcher. Good, Jake Monroe. And with three minutes and 21 seconds on the clock, the score is 14 and three. The Edinburgh University Fighting Scots. And we're gonna do a little handoff here now. We've got another student commentator who showed up, Kira Riddick, who's gonna take over for us right now. And uh, get you guys into the rest of the game. Jordan, thanks for talking with me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for letting me sit down and uh, put the good work. We'll see you at the uh, rest of the game here. Looks like the referee just placed that ball down at the 30, I believe.
That run was made by Jamar Anderson. Ball at the 40. Excuse me, that was Jaleel Reader. Ball remains at the 40. That was a pass Brandon to 22. Brandon River. Balls at 51. This is 44. A run was made by Jamar Anderson. made to number 22. That is Jalil Reader again. Looks like East Childsburg's trying to make their way down this field. Claim that ball back. The ball is now back at the 40.
Michael Jordan stepped away for a short moment. Edinburgh has the ball. Number seven, Jake Grillo. <laughs> Charlesbury's getting a little huddle up with their coach. Edinburgh coming back out to the field. Chew, but it looks like I saw a little bit of a little heat going on between Edinburgh and East Jalesburg back there. Some nonchalant bumps there. Let's keep it clean, guys. Number seven, Andrew Tomko, the pass. Pass intended for number two, Tanaz Gregory. Put Edinburgh down at the 10. Number 
one, James Clark. And bro's getting busy, guys. Intended for number one, James Clark. Makes another touchdown for the Fighting Scots. turnout today. The marching band is in the set. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Yeah, they are. I mean, the turnout is great. We have the crowd cheering on our fight, fighting slots. It's exactly what any football needs. A great crowd to keep them pumped, energized, and excited for the game. Way to open up the I don't think there's anything really like playing at your own home stadium. It just gives you an energy and a confidence that you really won't have any other time. Definitely, definitely. I think we're going to say it's Edinburgh with the kick. Like we have, get there in the huddle. Yep. We have the Scots defense coming back onto the field. 21 3. Edinburgh taking the lead. 12 minutes, 28 seconds. We have number two for East Stroudsburg attempted to run in the middle. Which is their quarterback, Ben Moser. Five-yard penalty. Now 
now, what I'm wondering is who was that again? Exactly what I'm wondering over here. No catch, number 22, East Strasburg, Jello Reader. Ten minutes and forty nine seconds on the clock. Intended pass to number three for East Stroudsburg. Anthony Garona. Garonio. Excuse me. East Stroudsburg look like they're over there in the huddle. Coming back out on the field. Second and 41. Number two center, Ben Morrison. We have a pass to number 87 from East Stroudsburg. He is tackled to the ground by the Scots. That was 87, RJ Surgeon. Surgeon. A flag on the field. As you can see the tension. They're both hungry for this win. Only one can come out victorious, so I'm excited to see who it will be to them. Yeah, our first home game. Fifteen-yard penalty, first down. East Strasburg. Fifteen coming out, thirty-four. Aiden Madiker on on the field. That light breeze definitely is helping. I gotta tell you this breeze. This breeze was good. Looks like there's a conversation between the East Stroudsburg officials and the referees. What's going on down there? Got a 
school spirit in the bleachers. A lot of school spirit in the bleachers. And that was Ben Moser trying to move the ball down this field. Like number 44 for East Childsburg, trying to go through the middle. Anderson for 44. Looks like there's some conversation going on on the field. I feel like it's all about strategy. If you don't have a good strategy plan, you're not going to see the results. Strategy and execution. Absolutely. Another flag on the field. Offense 73, five yard penalty. Mm. Gotta watch Alexander. out for this. Gotta watch out for those false starts, guys. Another flag. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, back-to-back flags, guys. Looks like this pass is pass. going to. And it's That pass was intended to number 87 from Schalzberg. But looks like the fighting is gone. Pretty interesting from where we're sitting at. I can actually hear East Jalesburg's coach talking to its players. Spashburg actually has a, a very nice turnout. Family and friends traveled here to the Sox, Harris, Sox Harrison Stadium to watch the team play. It's great support. Right. 
We are at the second quarter now, seven minutes, 27 seconds left. 21 to three. Pass intended for number five, Walter Fletcher. Seems like that talk with the East Stroudsburg players, with their coach, seemed to work. They sound pumped, they're ready to go. That was a blitz bomb. Ball is at the 20. Flag. Wow, we have to be careful about these penalty guys are necessary. Looks like someone's helmet's off. That helmet is off number 50. So this runs by number two, Ben Moser for East Stroudsburg. Taken down by number 17 from Edinburgh. Like, that tackle from Edinburgh was done by DeAndre Dowd. Excuse me, Dow Dow. Six minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. There's a 10 yard penalty. I believe this was against East Strasburg. I commend the players because they definitely play in all types of weather. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Pass is what I believe was intended to number 22 from East Stroudsburg. Jill Reader. Ball on the 14. And that is going to number 27 from East, East Stroudsburg. Robinson, number 27.
I can see over on the other side of the field. It looks like the Fighting Scots marching band is getting ready for halftime. Very excited to see the show that they put on for us today. Decided to kick it. O'Brien. Right. East Shellsburg offense is getting ready to take the field. They're getting lots of claps and chanting from their teammates. They are ready to get a touchdown. Balls on the 32. With the pass. Catch by 34. East Strasburg. Matt Maldiker. Five minutes, 12 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 21, East Strasburg. Looks like we may have an Edinburgh player injured right now. Number 80. He's up, but we do have the athletic trainers on the film talking to him. I hope it's nothing major, guys. Ball is on 41. Okay, ball given to number 44 on East Strasburg. Anderson. Knocked off his feet by number 52 from Edinburgh. Looks like we have an injury on the field from East Strasburg, number 75. That is Fleming. Yes, Michael Fleming. He's still on the ground. Um, like athletic trainers there, talking to him. Out. Hopefully everything's going to be okay. Taking you know, a nasty Michael hit. Michael Fleming, getting back up. Good for him. What happened over there? Four minutes, 53 seconds on the clock. Score is still Edinburgh 21, East Strasburg 3. Ball is up to 49. So 
that was a failed pass with an interception. That was made by 45. Ball of the 35. Right, pass made two, attempted to, number two, to Nas Gregory. Put a little too much strength in that pass there. Walter Fletcher ran out of bounds, but that was a great run. It definitely put the Edinburgh Fighting Scots in position they need to be for another touchdown. Ball is being set up again on the 12. Number 35 is making a run for the middle. Hand off the middle. was Walter Fletcher, he ran up the middle. Third down and six. on the field. This is a five yard penalty made by Edinburgh. Pass attempted for James Clark. That was definitely a flag. Bumped by way, who I believe, number 41 from East Childsburg. His helmet did come off. Uh, number one, James Clark is still on the ground. Athletic trainers have come onto the field. That was definitely a hard hit. Helmet flew off immediately. And that was hit was done by number 10. As you can tell, our players on the field don't appreciate that. There was a little bit of heated talking towards them. James Clark on the field. Number 24. Five yards down. Number 20. 
Looks like we have James Clark, yep, back up. Looks like he's being helped off of the field. Seems okay, probably just needs a minute. It looks like right now we still have two minutes and 23 seconds left in this quarter. We are on the first down. Stor score still the same, 21 Edinburgh, East Stroudsburg, three. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I think we may be having a problem with our scoreboard, so I apologize if you're watching from home. And when I'm saying it's not matching up, it seems like actually we are on the third down, yes. But the scoreboard's telling me something different. No, actually, we're back, we're first down. Sorry about that, guys. We have Walter Fletcher right making a run for in the middle, and that is a That's touchdown. A the legendary Karen. I don't know if you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes, 19 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh with the touchdown. That makes their new score to be 27. Three for East Jalsburg. Very excited for their halftime performance today. Lively crowds. It's a great day for football, ladies and gentlemen. Now doing kickoff. Edinburgh with the ball. Two minutes, 19 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh, 28. East Strasburg, three. And music by the band antagonizing definitely gives some intensity to the definitely kickoff. Yes. We had 95 with the kick. kick ball, ball caught by number 27 from East Strasburg. Battle Cove, Battle Cove.
intended. That was an intended catch by number nine, Brandon Aronson, Edinburgh. Yes. Right idea. They definitely try to get down that field. Gonna hold on to that ball a little tighter. Oh, that ball was given to East Strasburg, number 44. Before he even had a chance to run, was taken down by Edinburgh's number. F yes. Very fast. They're calling that unsportsmanlike conduct. Maybe that was not the best thing to do. Balls on the 43. Their quarterback, number two, Ben Moser, attempted to take the ball, taken down by Edinburgh, number 12. I think they've done a great job. Edinburgh. Absolutely. Yes. Teamwork is a dream work. I'm not gonna discredit East Charles Brick too. They've definitely seen some strategic plays. It's like hunger and desire. Both team wants to win. Oh, and up the middle by Walter Fletcher. One minute left. One minute left in the game. We have Tanaz Gregory, number two, with the ball. Tanaz Gregory. Pass complete by number two. Okay, we have a timeout. We have a timeout, 53 seconds on the clock. 28, Edinburgh. Edinburgh called the timeout. Edinburgh coming back out on the field. East Strawberry breaking up their huddle. Fifty-three seconds on the clock. Second down. The ball is at the thirty-two. Let's see what they can do with this last fifty-three seconds in the quarter. Okay, pass to number 35.
Edinburgh in the league, 28. East Strasburg, 3. 47 seconds on the clock. Ball is on the 41. We have a pass yes. to number two to Nas Gregory. Gregory with, the run. with another touchdown. 37 seconds on the clock. I knew something with the touchdown. Yes, I knew something interesting was gonna happen. And cue the cannon. I see them getting ready. Cue the cannon. <laughs> now we're getting set up, ready for a field goal. Position. Maybe they're doing the cannon after the field goal. <laughs> Makes it even better when we have a good game like this going on. Definitely interesting to watch, exciting. Exactly what college football should be. There was a flag. Edinburgh 35, East Strasburg 3, 37 on the clock. First down. Edinburgh showing that hunger, guys. They didn't come to play. East Strasburg was an excellent teamwork as well. Let's see if they'll make a comeback after half time. Antagonizing music, the kick return. I love this antagonizing music. It just, it's, it's like, what's going to happen? That will get you excited. Ball was caught by number 27 from East Jalesburg. Who did that kick there? Your 95? Yes. That is Corey Badarucka. Excuse So far, so good with Edinburgh fighting Scott. 37 on the clock, 35 for Edinburgh, three for East Strasburg. Ball is on the 25. Now we have pass 44, East Strasburg. Yes, attempted to run in the middle. Clock is running. About 20 seconds. All right, run through the middle. Oh, actually, no, excuse me. Yes. He did a little fake out there. Flag. Edinburgh with the chair. Yes, number 21 for Edinburgh. Got a little excited there. Happen to hear what that flag was about? Announcement. Eight seconds on the clock. Thirty-five, Edinburgh. East Strasburg, three. East Strasburg taking his first time out. Found out that flag was for unsportsmanlike conduct. Penalty. Eight, eight seconds on the clock.
Edinburgh 35, East Strasburg. Looks like the Edinburgh, Edinburgh teams come back out on the field. Even with 12 seconds, you never know what you can do. So I'm excited to see. Mm -hmm. Run in the middle from East Childsburg, number 27. Devontae Robinson. All right, and we are at the time. Time. We're going into halftime, you guys. Edinburgh 35. East Childsburg 3. I am Jordan Thomas. And I'm Kiara Reddick. Right now, we're going to be doing a short break right now while we go through our halftime. We'll see you guys here in about 20 minutes for some more Edinburgh Fighting Scots football.
awkward. Do I look familiar? I should. You might remember me from here. Here. We are maybe even here. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. It can actually be a perfect moment to reach out to a friend and ask if they're okay if they seem down. It doesn't matter how you say it. You all right? Everything's okay? Oh, gee. You all right, girl? Oh, you cool? You bug and dog. Just show you're there for them. Go on, Kelly. It's the awkward. Hey, um... You haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Can we tell you everything about Edinburgh University in just 30 seconds? No way. So let's just say, if you're looking for an exceptional and affordable education to build the foundations of your career success, you'll find it right here at Edinburgh where you're more than just a student. You're a fighting Scot. Schedule your visit or apply today at edinburgh.edu. Thank you.
And we're back with 15 minutes on the clock. 35 in Edinburgh. He strolls for three. Getting back into position. That was a great. That was a great first half we had there.
definitely some great strategical moves and plays there that have put the Edinburgh Fighting Scots in the position that they're in right now. I definitely think that it's gotten hot. I believe so. All right, oh, kick. Nice catch. That right is number, number two. To Nas Gregory. That was a great run, to Nas. It has definitely gotten hotter. Okay. I see people out here with their umbrellas. I think I need to be over there. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Some background history. The first time Edinburgh ever played against East Charlottesburg was back in 1967. What was the score today? That score was 33 to 6. And Ed East Charlottesburg win. All right. Tackle by number 62, East Charlottesburg. That is Keenan Baines. <laughs> Ball is on 19. The sun is getting me no matter where, no matter where I go, Jordan. Feel bad for the players. All right. Pass to number five, Walter Fletcher. Ball in the 33. Hey, okay, pass again to number five. Taken down by number 62 from East Stroudsburg. Again, Keenan Baines. He is on Fletcher's tail. Fourth down. First down. Positive spirits. Good job going all around. 13 minutes, 12 seconds on the clock. Adam Brawl 35. East Charlottesburg 3. First down. Adam Brawl down the safety. East Charlottesburg. That was a fumble, but there, yes. Interesting to see how they're going to play this one out. Let's see how this plays out. in position. Oh, I know that one. That was definitely a false start. Flag on the field. Five-yard penalty, defense number 66. 
Right, number 66 is Chain Trevora. Second down. Number three from East Stroudsburg, Anthony Garino, did catch that, but was tackled to the ground. <laughs> Players in position, ball on 13. Crowd looks excited. We have football players, you know, alert, ready. A lot of intensity going on right now. Definitely a lot of school spirit coming from the crowd on the bleachers. Beautiful day out here in Edinburgh. It's a Sox Stadium. Ball on the 16. About 11 minutes on the clock. So like East Childsburg's member, number 44, was tackled, Jamar Anderson. Ball was retrieved by East Stroudsburg. It looks like that pass was a little messy over there, guys. Not sure what was going on. 10 minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. On the 45, Burrow coming back out into position. Ball is given to number five, Ball Walter Fletcher. Fletcher with the run, comes around. And is pushed out of bounds. First down. Ball at the 35. Ball at the 35 yard line. Well, looks like our quarterback, number seven, is going number for it. Is out of bounds. That was Dylan Tomko. Yes, catch my flexor, number five. Oh, I'm so sorry, number two. That is Gregory. Now 
Nine minutes, 18. Nine minutes. Clock is running. Ball is on the 26th. Third down. All right, ball was given to Fletcher to run down the middle. And he is tackled by East Childsburg player number 20. Yard line. Touchdown. I was wondering who was going to score the first touchdown of this quarter. Q. The Q cannons. The, Q the fireball. <laughs> Edinburgh 41, East Strasburg 3. Now we're getting ready for our field goal. Getting intense soccer. Beautiful Saturday afternoon, Sox Stadium, Edinburgh. Field goal was field complete. Goal was complete. Edinburgh 42, Strollberg 3. It's, 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 it's getting a little hot. We are 42 to 3. How do you think that is there? Can they come back? You know, I think honestly anything is possible. But we have to know there is a time frame. Yeah, anything is possible. But there's 42 to 3? No. That right it's going to be hard. Definitely going to be challenging. That's the way <laughs> The way Edinburgh is playing, it's definitely going to be challenging for each child's break to get those numbers back up. But if they work hard enough, they definitely can. Definitely want to see some more Charlotte guys in East Strasburg. Definitely doing a great job. Doing a great job so far. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Eight minutes on the clock, three to 32 seconds. Edinburgh with the kick in position. Number 35 for Edinburgh. Kyle Gallick. You hear the Edinburgh players chanting. Gallic They're the hyped up. And that ball was caught from ball number 27. 27, East Strasburg. Devontae Robinson with tackled, the run. Tackled by number 10, Edinburgh. Number 10, Edinburgh, Geelong. Eight minutes, 24 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh, 42. East Strasburg, three. First down, ball is on the 25. Number two, hands off, 34, East Strasburg with the run. Tackled by number 25. Mal Docker with the run. Kyle Gallick, 35, with the tackle. Ball is on the 47. Number 44, East Strasburg has the ball, trying to go through the middle. Tackled by Edinburgh players. Nice structure there. I'd like to introduce the audience to some people today. Our referee for today's game is Joe Caruso, umpire James St. John, our head lineman James Jim Mulaney, Girl almost had it. 
rush is coming out on the field. Two players are down on the field. Number 12 is up. Number 12, David Ballou. Looks like the number third. 45 is still number down. Number 45 is still down. Miles Turner. Timeout. Ref called in a timeout. Seven minutes, 13 seconds on the clock. Number 40, number 45, Miles Turner. Now, looks like it's pretty bad. Each team looks like they're in the huddle over there talking about what's going on. Five is still down. Looks like they're getting Miles Turner up. Number 45 is sitting Looks up like though. Some players are coming out on the field to help 45 and see what's going on. Definitely great sportsmanship out there, guys. 45 is up. Assisted by 60. Assisted by 60, Kingston. And also assisted by 96, Corey Vatterco. Escorting 45, Miles Turner off the field. Unfortunate. Players are getting position, and the ball is on the 49. Let's hope that that injury isn't severe. Yes. Ball on the 59. Ball on the 49. Third down. Ball start. Flag. Edinburgh players jumped off sides. Definitely something we've seen more than a couple times. Defense number 14, five yard penalty. Defense number 14, the 54. Number two with the pass. I, East Strasburg. Yes. Catch by 22. Jalo Reader. <laughs> East Strasburg switching out some players. Ball is on the 41. First down. All right, we have East Strasburg's quarterback, East Ben Moser, is running. Ben, taken down ben by Moser. who I believe Take is number down. nine. Nice play, though. Definitely gave them some yardage Definitely down the nice field. About six minutes on the clock, 42, Edinburgh. East Strasburg, three, first down. 35 yard, the ball, that's 35 yard. Number two, Ben Moser, what's the pass? Pass to. Attempted catch to 22. Yes. Intercepted and blocked by number 14, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Six minutes, 10 seconds on the clock. Second down. Definitely hot out here, guys. Smart idea to have those umbrellas. Surprisingly, I see no one on the Edinburgh side with umbrellas, but everyone on the East Strasburg side is definitely umbrellaed up. They came prepared. Yes, they did. <laughs> hey. Attempted pass two, number 22. Throws the ball with an incomplete pass.
like the. Yes. All right, we have Edinburgh coaches calling out some plays to the team members. Number 97 for East Childsburg. Complete goal yes. by East Childsburg. We have Walter Edinburgh Fletcher with the ball, running through the middle. Running through the middle. Are we going all the way? Uh, nope. Tackled by East Stroudsburg player, 21. So the goal was incomplete, eh? Guys, that goal from East Stroudsburg was actually incomplete. Okay. Ball on the 45. Fletcher to the right. Well, again, given to number five. Tackled by East Strasburg players. Thirty-five with the ball. Tackle by East Stroudsburg players. Number thirty-five, Kyle Galik. Excuse me, Gallic. Four minutes, six seconds on the clock. Edinburgh forty-two. East Stroudsburg three. First and down. Bringing it down. Ball at 32. Play ball given to Edinburgh player number 35, 35 tackled by East Stroudsburg. Yeah, Kyle Gallic. Ball is at the 31. The sun is coming out, guys. The sun is definitely coming out, guys. Beautiful day here at the Sox Stadium. They pass two, number two, to Nas Gregory, running down the field. Running it down, Nas Gregory with the tackle. Down. The East Shawsburg players. Number seven, running down the field, tackled by East Stroudsburg players. That was Andrew Tomko. We now have a second down. Ball on the six. Definitely. 
definitely the day to stay hydrated, guys. Make sure you guys are out there drinking as plenty much water, staying hydrated, drink those fluids, electrolytes. Because this heat right here is definitely, definitely dangerous. About one minute and 50 seconds on the clock. That pass play was just by Kyle Gaelic. We're in through the middle and tackle. Clock is still running out. Two player, and I believe that is number six. That's number six, yeah, they gotta be number six, definitely number six. Blake Reddick. One minute, 22 seconds on the clock. You're down. And from position. Time to go with the ball. Oh, interception by East Jasper. Twenty-one, Andrew Bourne. Twenty-one, definitely twenty-one, Andrew Bourne. Nice shows for the interception. Nice work, guys. Definitely a lot of enthusiasm going over there with the team. The players are really pumped up for that. One minute, fourteen seconds on the clock. Going back out to the field. Shawsburg's in the huddle right now. Ball is on the 16. 40 clock is going. It's about 30, 30 seconds on clock. And row 42. East Strasburg 0 to 3. I'm East Strasburg 3. Sorry about that, guys. Number 27, Devontae Robinson, tackled by Edinburgh players. Third down, ball is on the 15. Clock is running out. Two, one, and that's time for the third quarter. Edinburgh, 42, East Strasburg, three. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon at Edinburgh Sox Stadium. I'm here accompanied by my partner, Jordan. Thank you. And the rest of the television practicum and Guys, TV. We are out here getting club. burnt up. We are definitely getting burnt up. Note to self, pack, pack the sunscreen. Pack the sunscreen, pack the sunscreen. Extra, extra water, extra and water. the umbrella. Because definitely. sitting out here on these football days, definitely. it's definitely a scorcher. Definitely. Number one priority. The 
looks like we have Edinburgh's marching band over there with the tune. Teams are getting back on the field. Ball is at the 25. Third down. 15 minutes on the clock. Start of the fourth quarter. Edinburgh 42. East Charlesburg 3. Third down. Conversation happening on the field. Defense number 22, five yard penalty. Fifteen minutes on the clock. Third down. Pass two, number 22, East Strasburg, Jalil Reeder. Ooh, okay, made it all the way down to the 20. To the 20, man. He was on the move. He was definitely on the move there, Jordan. Definitely on the move. Clock is running. And it broke 42. Okay, we have Number a pass two in motion, to East Strasburg. Yes. Attempted, Attempted pass, pass to Aiden Maldecker. Mm -hmm. Looks like East Strasburg's in a huddle. Yep. Ball is on the 25. Strasburg breaking out of the huddle back to the line. Ball is on the 25. Second down. 14 minutes, 34 seconds on the clock. Oh, whoa. Fun with that ball. Now we have the whoa. attempt of the quarterback the trying to. Now pass, pass to number 15. That number was smart. 15, Accepted pass to Jafir Buffalo. Buffalo. Nice pass, nice pass there, guys. Nice pass. It's all about strategy. He saw that what he was about to do wasn't going to work. He thought quick and ended up working that was for strategy them. strategy right there. That was definitely some strategy, quick thinking. East Strasburg is definitely trying to get back into the game. Ball on the 10. 44. 44. Attempted run through the middle from 44, but not successful. Tackled by Edinburgh players. Quarterback from East Strasburg, Ben Moser, decided to get the team in the huddle. Ball on the nine. Second down, ball on the nine. Pass. Woo. Pass to 87, that was complete. RJ Sereran. Definitely, definitely. That was a nice. He said that was a touchdown for East Childsburg, making the new score 42 Edinburgh, 9 East Childsburg. 13 minutes, 28 seconds on the clock. East Childsburg with the touchdown. East Childsburg with the kick, field goal complete. Edinburgh winning 32 to 10. 30, 13 minutes, 28 seconds on the clock. Both teams are on their respected sides right now. Looks like East Charlesburg in the huddle with their coach there.
Definitely a good game today. Definitely a beautiful day to have a game also. The sun is out. School spirit is out. Great first home game for the Fighting Scots so far. So here goes some serious history for you guys. Edinburgh's first win with East Strasbourg was around the time of 1984 with a lead 40 to 20. First East Strasbourg win to Edinburgh was 1967. That was 33 to 6. East Strasbourg with the kick. Deep in the end zone. First and 25. First and 25, 13 minutes, 28 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Strasburg 10. East Strasburg with the go-go kick. Actually, actually, Edinburgh's coming back out on the field. Looks like they're out there talking. Players getting back into position. 13 minutes, 28 seconds on the clock. Fourth quarter. Pass the number two. To Nas Gregory. Looks like he was tackled by Tackle player, by player 20. 23. Oh, excuse me. Player 20. East Strasburg. That's Jamal, Jamal Cooley. Cooley. Definitely having a little bit of trouble with these, with these numbers, guys. The sun is out, and he did not come to play. <laughs> 13 minutes. A few seconds on the clock. Ball's on the 33. Ball's on the 33, second down. Seven with the pass to 19, to 18. Edinburgh. Tackled by East Strasburg players. Number 18, Audrey Dow. Offense number 72, 10 yard penalty. That bro. 12 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. And bro still on the lead, 32 to 10. Back at the 23, second down. East Strasburg with the ball. Flag. Strasburg gets position. Second down. Seven with the pass. Incomplete pass to number 18, Edinburgh. Andrew Dow. Andrew Dow. Andre Dow. Excuse me. Third down. The ball is at the 18. Twelve minutes, four seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Strasburg 10. Pass from number two. To the last Gregory. It's a little too far ahead. A little too far ahead. 
Fourth down and 17. 11 minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. Ball is on the 18. Kick off by 95, Edinburgh. Nice. Ball caught by East Strasburg, number eight, Reese Bender. Eleven minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Strasburg 10. First down. East Strasburg with the ball. Number two. Number two with the run. That was Ben Moser, and he was taken out of bounds. Looks like we're at the 43 yard. Pass one number two, Holzer. Twenty two with the touchdown for East Strasburg. Jalil Reader. Twenty two, Jalil Reed. Reader. That makes East Strasburg second touchdown for second the game today. Definitely trying to get back into the game, guys. Bring in East Strasburg to 16, Edinburgh 42. 11 minutes and seven seconds on the clock, first down. Got East Strasburg's players on the holder right there. Edinburgh's members coming back onto the field now. It's very clear that Edinburgh has made some great plays in this leaning advance in this game. But East Strasburg is working to come back with 11 minute seven seconds on the clock though is it enough time we'll see it was a kickoff ball caught by number two to Nas Gregory just took a nail Seven seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Strasburg, bringing it up to 17. First down. At the 25, ball at the 25. Edinburgh with the ball. Pass the 22. I'm past the number two, Edinburgh. Down.
Run up the middle. 35, Edinburgh making his way down. Woo! Great tackle, play. Great nice run play. by Got player it. number 35, Zara Goins. Definitely some intense playing by Edinburgh and East Rutherford. Pass. Again to 35. 35. What's the run? Come through. Great trying to break through those guys, but was talking about the East Strasburg players. Nine minutes and four seconds on the clock. From East Strasburg, player 41. That is Billy Enge the third. Tackle by number six, Blake Reddick. Reddick with the tackle. Edinburgh. That was incredible, guys. That was incredible. Definitely nice strategy by East Strasburg. Eight minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon at Edinburgh Sox Stadium. Me and my guest, me and my host, my other host, me and my hostess, Jordan. We are just out here enjoying ourselves with this, this beautiful weather and this beautiful first game for Edinburgh, guys. Definitely, definitely. Great game. Definitely a good game going on. Eight minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. Fourth quarter, East Strasburg trying to make it a comeback. <laughs> 36, whoo, incomplete pass. Incomplete pass to oh, 26, Gunnar Anglovich. And completed pass to number 15, Javier Buffalo. Excuse me about that, Javier Buffalo. Guys, it is too hot to sit down out here. The bleachers, they are deep. They're burning. As far as the, the heat out here, we still have our devoted sports fans cheering on their teams. That's what we call devoted. And here the Edinburgh side chanting, here we go, Burham.
9 p.m. at Edinburgh Sox Stadium, September 15, on this beautiful sun, sunny day. Red, the ball is on the floor. You know, I'm actually taking a look here at the weather, guys. It's actually telling me 78. However, it feels like right. there's an intercepted pass by number 21 from Edinburgh. By number 21, Edinburgh. That is Zarell, Zarell Hendrick. Woo! Seven minutes and eight seconds on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Stralsburg 17, first down. Edinburgh coming back out on field. Right, then that was Walter Fletcher trying to go through the middle, tackled by East Strasburg players. Second down. Ball is in. Ball is five. Edinburgh with the ball. We have number five, Walter Fletcher. strategy they're doing though because if you want someone who can get those yards for there get the ball where they the team wants them to be it is definitely Tanaz looks like he's hurt right now that we have the athletic team on the field talking to them Tanaz Gregory is up and walking back to the side. Time out. Ball was on the three. Definitely looking forward to some breeze here, Jordan. I bet you would agree with that. Me <laughs> Guys, we have five minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Edinburgh, 42, 
East Strasburg 17. East Strasburg is definitely coming back with the strategy. Definitely trying to get back into the game with only five minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. We had the ball on the 15. Five minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. Edinburgh 42, East Stroudsburg 17. We got our first down. The ball is on the 17. We have a handoff too. One second, ladies and gentlemen. That was a handoff to number 35 for Edinburgh. That is Kyle Gaelic. Like Reddick in motion. Definitely, definitely hot out here, guys. Ball at the 49 yard. Good for a gain of about 20. 
as East Stroudsburg is trying to hurry up to the ball, but the receiver, number 87, is down on the play. Looks like he hobbled a little bit. That's R.J. Sarajan, the redshirt junior who made that catch. He got hit low as soon as he made the catch, and it looks like uh, he initially was trotting off the field, but then decided it was a little bit too much and is now down laying on his back being treated by the trainer. Hopefully for him it's just a cramp and not a not a knee issue. Sarajan so far, three receptions for 41 yards. He has a touchdown, one of the two touchdowns for East Strasburg today. Yeah, trainer's working on it. It appears to be a cramp for them. But again, this will be the last... Like, non-in-conference game for Edinburgh, as next week they will start in-conference play to start their run at the Western Conference title. Programming on WFSE is supported in part by John's Wildwood Pizzeria, open daily at 105 Erie Street in Edinburgh. John's menu features a selection of pizza, hoagies, wings, salads, and more. Information is at 814-734-7355 or on the web at johnswildwoodpizza.com. Sarajan makes his way off the field. Edinburgh's defense back out now. Again, I'd like to take a moment and do a little self-promotion. As Monday morning, you can listen to Let's Talk About Sports with Luke at the 10 o'clock hour right here on 88.9 WFSC. Mauser back, looking to pass, has nobody, under pressure, and is brought down by Derek Dore. Big man coming home, getting himself a sandwich. I like it. And again, that goes back to what I was talking about earlier. This entire defense plays as a unit. They know that if everyone does their own job, it frees up other people to make those big plays. Derek Dorr with the big sack. Why is the sack available as an option? Because Moser doesn't see anyone open downfield. The cornerbacks, the defensive backs on Edinburgh's side, absolutely dominant coverage. Two receivers now out far for Moser. Three here near side. Moser again looking to pass. Still doesn't like what he sees open, but he has a man caught. And the missed tackle, he's going to walk into the end zone for an ESU touchdown. Just over two minutes left to go here in the fourth and final quarter. Edinburgh still leading it 42-17. to 17. So As we no, mentioned, 20. as we mentioned, 20. teams choosing to go to the opposite side of Zerrell Hendrick this time choosing to try to beat Brandon Anderson, and they do. They beat him deep. Billy DePaul, the free safety over the top, came over, attempted to make the tackle, but he tripped over Anderson, leaving East Strasburg receiver wide open. Almost blocked was that one, but they make it through. Your score now, Edinburgh 42, East Strasburg 24, as they're fighting to make a game out of this one, but with only two minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the game, Chris, I don't think time is their friend. Absolutely not. I mean, they're going, let's just say this, if East Stroudsburg walks away with the win today, it's going to be a game that people talk about for years to come, because it would it would have to be a miracle performance here with just over two minutes to go. They need to score three times. They need three touchdowns to catch up to Edinburgh. And to be able to do it in two minutes, I mean, the Edinburgh defense would absolutely have to go to sleep and just lay down and let it happen. Something that a coach nearly coached defense just simply will not allow. Because I'm sure they're going to they're gonna get back in the film room and, and look back at those couple of plays where they got burnt. They won't allow that to happen again. Now East Strasburg on to kick off. You would expect probably some kind of trickery here. Some type of onside play. I think they have their hands crew out as they do have a bunch of receivers and tight ends there up on the front line. Tanaz Gregory not even back deep. And it is kind of a rolling pooch. Tanaz going to let it roll out into the end zone for a touchback. So the pooch kick does make it over the hands crew, but had a little bit too much sauce on it as it rolls in to the end zone for a touchback. 
Edinburgh to start off here with two minutes, 14 seconds left to play at their own 25-yard line. And now it's all about clock management, Chris. Absolutely. How much of that clock can you eat? Edinburgh is going to return to the running game most likely. They've got to get those first downs. I mean, nothing happens unless you can get the first downs. Exactly right. But the good thing is, I mean, they have so many options available to them with this offense. One receiver up far side now in motion. Now the flags come out. They're going to say false start. Yep, false start on Burrow. And that'll back him up five yards. So it'll be first and 15 here from the Edinburgh 20-yard line. 2.13 left to go in the game. That was Kyle Schreiner, the redshirt freshman, jumping early on that play. Again, same setup. Two receivers here near side, one far side. Give us the Gaelic up the middle. Kind of breaks through, gets a gain back out to almost the original yard of line of scrimmage. So he gets out to about the what, 20, 25 yard line. East Stroudsburg trying to conserve as much time as possible. Calls a timeout. Might as well. It does you no good. You can't take them home with you. It's not like they're good for a free sub from Subway if you don't use them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to take it. You need as much time on the clock as possible if you get the ball back and a good field position opportunity if they can prevent Edinburgh from getting the first down. Edinburgh deep in their own territory at their own 23 as it stands right now, second and 12. And with that timeout, East Strasburg has two of theirs left. Edinburgh, if they'll need them, still has all three. I have a feeling they're not going to need them. Just, just a thought. Just, just a thought. Call me Captain Obvious, but just a thought. All right, Tomko now in the shotgun has one receiver, a far side, two here near side. Gaelic in at his left hip to give us a Gaelic up the middle, up the through. He's out to the 40, to the 50, to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 10, 5, gone, touchdown. Burrow. That's that counter play that we've seen some success today and earlier this season, taking his first step to his left, then turning around to his right, getting the handoff and running through a wide open gap in the offensive line. And once he got through, no one was catching up to him, and he was being chased pretty close by by East Strasburg secondary. Gaelic also a standout on the Edinburgh Spring track team. So, yeah, it's definitely off to the races when he gets sprung free like that. You are not going to track him down. 154 left to go here as Jake Money Monroe comes out, kicks up. Good. Brings your score now 49 to 24. Burrow over East Stroudsburg. Under two minutes left to go from Sox Harrison Stadium. Supporters of WFSE include. Bonnell's Collision in Erie and Fairview, providing a full range of automotive collision repair services. Information is available on the web at bonnellscollision.com. So that will bring us up here. Almost, you know, I'm hoping that ESU will run the ball, but I don't think they're going to. They're going to try to make the home run pitch as much as they can, Chris, trying to strike for that end zone. Yeah, I think when they come out to start this drive, they're going to start with the deep passes instead of easing their way in with running plays. They're going to see, because it all depends. I mean, they've got a long way to go, down by 25. They've got to score now and then work on adding to that total. They can't start by running the ball immediately, especially with the lack of success Jamar Anderson has had in this game against Edinburgh's potent defense right he's been on lockdown all day defense not allowing him to move the ball whatsoever here we go for the kickoff Edinburgh kicking off from their own 35 drive line kick received about the five yard line ESU brings it up out across to the 
call it 38-yard line. Not bad field position, but not what you're looking for if you're East Stroudsburg. You really wanted to come out with a lot more yardage, as close to the 50, if not over the 50, to, to set up a short field for your offense. Here comes Mauser now with that offense. Two receivers here near side, two far side. Empty back set for the ESU Warriors from their own 38-yard line. First down and 10. Moser calls for the ball. Looks left, looks left. Has to run, but no! He is brought down again! Derek Dorr finding himself a sandwich! Big man eaten today on Saturday. Sacked for a loss. That'll bring up second down and about a mile. Well, not really. It's 15, but still. 124. The clock continues to tick, which is probably the most important thing as Edinburgh leads 49 to 24 here at Sox Harrison Stadium. Moser now under center in the eye. Looks to hand off to Anderson. Again, tackled. Doesn't make it back to the original line of scrimmage. They're still short. Call it now. A third down and 18 left to go. 56 seconds left to go in the ball game. Edinburgh still leads. And Derek Dorr has three tackles in this game. Two of them, Tubby, are sacks. When he hits, he hits big. I tell you, he just a beast. Just absolute beast mode today. Just a terror there in the middle at defensive tackle. Moser under center, looks to hand off again. Does, but again, no gain as Edinburgh still being stingy, saying, no, sir, you're not gaining any yards. And by running the ball, East Stroudsburg is keeping the clock moving, now under 16 seconds. And I believe they're just going to let it run out. Call for mercy. Get back on the bus. Let's go back home. As Edinburgh wins their home opener 3 Two, one, ball game. Edinburgh wins. There's the ROTC cannon. Everybody lines up at the 50-yard line to shake hands. Edinburgh Fighting Scots, your winner, 59 to East Stroudsburg Warriors, 24. Edinburgh just lit up East Stroudsburg's defense in this game. 569 total yards on offense. Kyle Gaelic and Walter Fletcher both rushing for over 100 yards. That's Fletcher's third 100-yard rushing game this season in just three games. Absolutely incredible performance from Edinburgh's offense today. Yep, again, just another dominating performance by also their defense. Again, in the no-fly zone, up until the garbage time there at the end of the fourth quarter, ESU never really felt comfortable in their passing game. Couldn't get any yards through the air, but that suffocating front seven of Edinburgh's defense just completely shutting down Anderson, the running back from ESU, Chris. Yeah, Jamar Anderson, who rushed for over 200 yards last week, just 68 in this game. And as a whole, East Strasburg only able to come up with 81 yards rushing. Absolutely dominant performance from Edinburgh's defense just as with their offense. Yep, I just, I just, it just kind of really bodes well for Edinburgh. As you look, they've had two cross-conference opponents. Bloomsburg was ranked a little bit lower on the east side. East Stroudsburg was middle right with them there, ranked number four. So it should have been a parallel. But Edinburgh, just from the onset, from the first whistle, just handling their business, and doing work. So that leads me, builds me up a little bit of confidence here as we move into PSAC West play for our next opponent next week, which will be Cal at Cal on September 22nd. You can hear all of that coverage right here on 88.9 WFSE Fighting Scots Radio. If you're out of the airway, and can't quite reach us, you can stream us live through edinburghnow.com. Or if you're on the go, you can catch us with the NoBex and TuneIn radio apps 
free and available on your mobile devices. Football team now going over and paying homage to the fans and the band as they play the alma mater for the victory. Chris, it has been my absolute pleasure to be on the call with you today. Also, big shout out, thanks to Natalie back in the studio running the board and uh, keeping us going here. From all of us here at Sox Harrison Stadium to all of you out there in Borough Nation, have yourselves a good day. Awkward. Do I look familiar? I should. You might remember me from here. Here. We we are Or maybe even here. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. It can actually be a perfect moment to reach out to a friend and ask if they're okay if they seem down. It doesn't matter how you say it. You all right? Everything's okay? Oh, gee. You all right, girl? Oh, you cool? You bug and dog. Just show you're there for them. Go on, Kelly. See the awkward. Hey, um, you haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Can we tell you everything about Edinburgh University in just 30 seconds? No way. So let's just say, if you're looking for an exceptional and affordable education to build the foundations of your career success, you'll find it right here at Edinburgh, where you're more than just a student. You're a fighting Scot. Schedule your visit or apply today at edinburgh.edu.